A new program with a new with new lifelike tools to help people train for trauma. State police, MedStar paramedics, and a Michigan State University teamed up today to give some MSU students hands-on experience to help save lives. When a gunman opened fire on Michigan State University's campus, it was a wake-up call for students. A lot of students had voiced that they didn't feel prepared for something like that. So then we started working with um, each other. Working toward a goal of making sure as many people as possible know how to respond to critical injuries in a critical situation. These MSU medical students and undergrads were among those who attended advanced medical training Thursday at the State Police Academy in Diamonddale. And what we're doing here is, one, we're building relationships. Two, we're actually training our first aid instructors on how to handle and how to deal with our new TAC Mannies. TAC Mannies are as close to a real person as you can get in a training scenario. The mannequins we're using are awesome. Um, they have pulses, they can breathe, bleed, um, they have a bunch of different traumatic wounds, and so we don't have access to that kind of stuff in med school. And you can change the dynamic of the injury and the dynamic of the wound in the scenario just with a touch of a finger. It's a game changer for troopers, medics, and anyone else who might be faced with a chance to save a life. It's specific and it's tabulated for you right there in the tablet so that you know whether you've stopped the bleeding, whether you've packed the wound, whether the tourniquet's tight enough, whether the tourniquet has stayed in place during transport. I know that a lot of people coming out today who are undergrad students um, don't necessarily know what they want to do yet, so this could push them in the direction of medicine and becoming, you know, healthcare providers. And this was the first time MSU has teamed up with state police and MedStar paramedics. State police say it can give anyone confidence to step in and help when minutes count and lives are at stake. Tonight was the second night of the 24th annual William G. Anderson Slip.